Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm here back with a new video. I'm still doing it. I just be, I really just be living life. Like that's probably the best way to describe what's going on. Like I'm literally living life. So I have gone through a lot recently, not gonna lie. Um, a lot of the stuff that I have gone through has definitely given me new perspectives and I just wanted to sit here and share. <laughs> so, you know, I I've been learning a lot about myself, first of all. Um, one big thing I did learn is I definitely have become more individual um, throughout this journey and there has been a lot of surprises I'm really not even gonna lie there has been a lot of surprises um, from this journey really unexpected turns and loops and stuff that be going on in my life like it's really crazy and like the more that I um, have these experiences where things don't turn out exactly how I thought they were gonna turn out or or things don't um, the truth comes out or something like that the more one my faith strengthens because it just does and two my um my perspective changes and I feel like this is like a constant thing every time something in my life happens my perspective shifts a little more and I start to become more individualized in what I believe and I think it's pretty cool to be honest like it's really actually pretty cool um, besides the fact, um, I have also learned one big thing as well. To be spiritual is not, hmm, what can I, how can I say this? It's, you don't, you don't have to be a certain way to call yourself quote unquote spiritual because this is literally your journey and it took me a while to actually like, you know, become individualized and like become like my, like who I am and still learning, you know, whatever, still coming into myself. But um, my perspectives on spirituality have definitely changed and they're definitely more my own now. And I love it. I really do. So one, like a couple of things I do want to talk about actually concerning like what people think spirituality should be and like hey whatever you think it should be that's you okay don't like not everybody is going to um believe in spirituality the way that you do and that's what makes it amazing and that's what makes it fun and that's why i love spirituality more than religion or whatever basically one topic i do want to touch on is music um so throughout my journey i did learn a little bit about more about like um music manifestation stuff like that you know listening to music that resonates with you blah blah, blah. um one thing i did actually kind of learn throughout you know dabbling in that is when it comes to music i definitely listen to whatever i resonate with but it's more like whatever I resonate with in that moment. So like, if, I, if I'm feeling lovey-dovey, I'm gonna listen to some love songs. If I feel like throwing it back, I'm gonna listen to some Meg. Um, if I feel like, um, I don't know, what's another? If I feel like crying, I don't know, I'm gonna listen to some sad songs. I don't know. I just now realize when it comes to music, I want I listen to what I resonate with in the moment. Like I, still really like listening to rap music like I I understand but like when it comes to that and what they are rapping about I know what it is and I kind of and I know what it ain't I listen to it because I like it I listen to it because maybe their verses resonate with me a little bit but I also understand that like I just I kind of like separate myself from that and also, I noticed a lot of the rap music I do listen to is not always about, like, bitches and hoes and blah, 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 blah. Because I, you know, eh. But, like, some of it is. And, like, 
I also have to, there's just a lot of factors that I keep into account when I do listen to that. Like, I don't always think about it when I'm listening to it. But like, I, it's just something that I remember. One, the music industry is bitches and hoes. That's what they like. That's what they be rapping about. That's just what it is. I can't do anything about that. Like, you know what I mean? If the beat hits, which is how they get you, the beat hits. Do I support that? No, I don't think that they should be rapping about that. However, it's the music industry and we could get into that another time. But the music industry is crazy and we know that and that's what is in right now for some reason. I can't change anything about it. And if there's a song that I like that, that plays that, whoop, I don't know. That's just the way life goes. I've, I've kind of realized like, so I kind of, now I listen to whatever I want and that's just me being me and me finding um, my own individuality when it comes to that. Um, okay, so another topic I wanted to touch on, I hope that this video is not all over the place and I hope everyone's picking up what I'm putting down. But um, the next thing I wanna touch on is female rappers. And because I know I made a video about, um, I'm acting like millions of people watch me. I know you guys saw my <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, no, I know I, I did make a video because my view at the time was, um, well, it's still kind of partially my view, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, they said, fem I said, female rappers are actors, blah, blah, blah. That I still believe. That is their persona. That's the that's what they signed on the dotted line to be. Exactly what they're doing. Um, this hot girl summer thing. Um, I don't like what's going on with the female rappers. Do I wish that they could rap about something else? Yes. Do I wish that they wouldn't over-sexualize themselves? Yes. But if I'm in the club, am I going to throw it back to some Meg? Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I still like Meg. I can rap every single um, lyric of... Um, oh, dang. He, get, he know he giving his money to Megan. That one. Um, shoo, of course I can't think of the name right now. He know it's very expensive to date me. That one. Like, I, some of her music, will I listen to? No. I don't like the uh, lay down, do the cry baby. I don't like that. That's mm, too far for me. Too far for me. Um, honestly, I will listen to it. I like feeling good about myself and that's what female rap does. That's one good thing about female rap that I really like. It makes women feel sexy. It makes women feel like... Mm -mm -mm. you know like it makes us feel good like if we get dressed up and we put lashes on and we put um eyebrow makeup on <laughs> eyebrow makeup we are still gonna look like we are gonna turn on some Meg we're gonna turn on some Ruby Rose I still love me some Ruby Rose too she be different but I still love her I just like I said I separate myself from that because I know what it is and I know what it ain't but does the music make me feel good yes am I gonna listen to it because it makes me feel good yes because why do I not want to feel good? <laughs> you know, that's how I feel about like female rappers and female rap now. Next thing I wanted to talk about was my view overall when it comes to spirituality. So this is what I believe, okay? And I've never, like, I feel like I've never really said this before, like to a lot of people. I personally believe that we are all spirits in our bodies and this is the life that we chose to live like this is like we chose this life before we got here because we knew that we needed to learn these lessons that we're going through like the hard times that you be going through you chose that because it's your destiny is already written out so then I definitely believe that everyone that comes into your life is into your life for a reason. In a way, they're a reflection of you. It's not like, um, it's not like they're just there for no reason, especially if they return. I believe that like, just because someone leaves your life does not mean they won't come back. And especially like, you know, especially also, ugh. especially if there's a lesson within them, of course, yes, but it doesn't always have to be bad. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't always have to be bad when somebody comes back. You should know if it's going to be bad. Like, it's, you should know. But like, I just feel like we're all, everyone around us is a part of you. It's a reflection of you. They're showing you something. They're teaching you something. It's always something with 
like everybody in your life. They're not there for no reason. So yeah, so that's what I believe um, as far as life and when it comes to living life, definitely live life to the fullest because one, you only get this body once. Treat your body, treat it right, obviously, but have fun, you know? Have fun with life. Don't hold yourself back. Don't take things so seriously. Don't take things personally. And I'm still learning this. Like, my, I always, I can't expect this, express this enough. I'm still learning this. It's something that I'm still trying to grasp. Like, what helps me always remember that, probably, I would say, is the fact that we are, like, everyone around you is a reflection of you. So therefore, you yourself are a reflection of them. Like, we're all one, basically. I hope that this is Micah Sands, cause dang, I'm just talking. But don't take life so seriously, yes. So I definitely believe that. Take life seriously, like get your bag, but focus on yourself. Don't live your life for other people. Because like I said, you get this body, you get this life one time until it's on to the next. So definitely treat this body right. Treat it, give it the life that it deserves. Give yourself the life that you deserve. Grind until you get that bag so that you can live comfortably and happy. And everyone's version of comfortably and happy is different. But like me personally, I'm a, I wanna be bougie. Like I, I need to like get a job that's gonna help me maintain my bougie life. And I'm going to do that because I want to treat my, I want to live my best life. <laughs> like, that's probably the best um, saying that anyone could say. Like, you want to live your best life. Why would you not? So, yeah. And another thing would I also believe um, when it comes to living life in general, chase your dreams. Don't sleep on yourself. And that's something that I need to see. Like, I, I know that sometimes I can be lazy and I can be, you know, I don't believe in myself as much as I should. I am trying to dead that because if I want the life that I am trying to get, I need to start believing myself and believe that I can, I deserve it, believe that I can do it, believe that I can maintain it and stop being lazy sometimes. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I just exposed myself. But like, yeah, I'm a very transparent person most of, <laughs> for the most part. But um, yeah, like I definitely believe that those are key things to when it comes to like living life in general. Okay, so another thing, one last thing, I think this is really the last thing that my like view has changed on or like I have, yeah, went through situation and learned from it and um, my view has changed is when it comes to sexual relations. Um, I definitely believe that like when it comes to that, it matters but it doesn't at the same time. Like, okay, I forgot. I, I just remembered another thing. So I personally believe that we are a part of, I don't know what it's called, the ecosystem. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I def, I basically believe that the human species, we're animals. Like we're, we're basically just, we're leveled up animals. Like we built our foundation here. Like, you know what I mean? That we're the human species if that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. We want sex. Like, that's what it is. We want pleasure. I wouldn't say we want sex, but we want pleasure. And that's just what we want. It's what we need for some reason. Like, people, and that's why, like, sex is, like, the face of the world right now, the music industry, everything, because that's what the human species likes. Like, we just, we want to be pleased. We want to be pleasured. We want to be, you know, so when it comes to like sex and stuff, my view has definitely changed a little bit because now that I do see that like we are animals, you know, we're human, we crave sex, that's what it is, that's what it ain't, blah, blah, blah. I now definitely see sex as like, okay, it's definitely still an energy transfer, don't get me wrong, but I definitely see it as now, it's like, um it's just sex like it's really just sex and like I, I don't want to like sound so cold about it but like I kind of see it as that now because like 
now that I'm learning how to not have emotional attachment to every single guy that I meet, um, it kind of help. It kind of it, it helps that way. Like it helped me see that more that it was just sex because I'm like, okay, I'm not falling in love with this guy. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm not. Uh, geez, let me just shut my mouth. I'm I'm about to go tell my whole life. Never mind. <laughs> but like you know what I mean? I definitely basic. I definitely see sex as just sex because we are animals. We're the human species. We crave sex. We want pleasure. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I see it as. And it took me a while to see that, but now that I do see it like that, I notice I am more at ease. I'm more at ease. But yeah, so that is a big thing that I definitely believe. Dang, this video is going to be all over the place. I got to edit it. Ugh. Anyways, always remember, you can do whatever you want in your life. Like, don't live for anybody else, please, okay? Don't live for anybody else. And I'm living for somebody else can mean a lot of different things. It can mean a lot of different things. Because my thing would probably be, I have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot of, like... I'm, very, I'm a very empathic person and I always put myself in somebody else's shoes. I always feel, I feel like they, um, hmm. I think about how a lot, hmm. in my opinion, I think about how other people will feel. I may not be able to express that, but like I do. And it puts me in a whirlwind. It makes me change my direction it makes me compromise what i want and what i need for other people and i end up living my life like uh accommodating i don't know you know like i compromise for i compromise um what i want and my needs because i care about other people i never want to see them upset i never want to you know uh, make anybody mad that's never my intention but yeah please just live for yourself um, what's another thing I can say? Now I'm just thinking of like advice. Definitely, um, I learned like through the time that I wasn't posting on here, I definitely learned that, um, communication is key. That's for sure. Communication may be hard, but once you learn how to communicate, things come together, sweetheart. Things come together. Things come together. And I'm not even lying. Like I'm really not. I'm really not like it sounds so simple it's really hard trust me but it uh, yet yet once you learn and once you start taking that step to learn how to communicate your needs learn how to communicate um your feelings learn how to communicate you know your problems and stuff things will start coming together your life will start coming together my last thing this is really the last thing Let what wants to go, go, and let what wants to come, come. Okay? Don't force a dang thing, sweetheart, because forcing things ends up turning into a mess. And I mean this with all my heart. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to express how much I mean this. Let whatever wants to go, go, and let whatever wants to stay, stay. Don't force anything to stay. Don't force anybody to stay. Everyone has free will. If they if they don't want to stay, don't make them stay, sweetheart. Like, you might think that, like, you doing it for them or, like, you doing it for you or something. But no, them leaving is a favor for them and for you because, in a way, that's what they needed, too. You don't know that that's what you needed. And it's sad to see the person go or whatever. But, yeah. And you never know. People come back and you never know because like down the road, you could meet that same person again and they could be changed. They could be healed. They could be a different version and be able to work with you, be able to, uh, you know, rekindle, whatever. So always remember that people come back, sweetheart. People come back and people change and people never. Oh, my gosh. I sound. Oh, my gosh. I sound crazy right now. But seriously, I just want everyone to know, like everything that I have learned because this could help a lot of people and like I hope that this video is making sense but people never stay the same please remember that everyone is changing everyone's going through something and everybody is either elevating or not but like everybody's changing okay people who stay the same are obviously not the people you want to you want to rock with but like 
I'm a person that always sees the good in everybody. And a lot of people don't really like like that about me, but I do. I always see the good in everybody because I always know that people are, everyone's going through something. Nobody's ever not like, you know, like everybody's going through a stage in their life where they're going to be like this for a while. Okay. But they could also learn and grow from that and be a changed person two, three years from now. So don't ever believe nobody can change. That's a trauma response. And T-Ways, um, thank you for watching this video. I'm so glad that I got to um, speak my truth on here like I always do. And always remember, like, you are always changing. Okay, sweetheart? Like, and this is a perfect example. Like, my YouTube videos. You guys have seen a lot of well, you guys, I'm acting like people, but you know what? You got to, okay? You got to. <laughs> but anyways, um, I have shown a lot of different versions of myself. I have shown a version of my versions of myself where I was down in the dumps. I like, but you obviously I don't show that, but like I have shown different phases of my life, different phases of my journey. And that's what I plan to do. And here I am today. And this is like, how I'm feeling. This is how I'm rocking. This is what I believe. And this is what I'm growing off of because this is what I've grown into. And that's on period. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Who knows when, but <laughs> bye.